Hey you guys, how's it going? So today I am going to do a first impression review of a game called Doomsday Hunters. As always with all of my first impression reviews I have never played the game before. I'm gonna play the game for an hour or two and throughout the video I will be giving you my running commentary on what I think is good and bad about the game. And at the very end of the video, I will give you my concise, uh, compacted uh, opinion on the game. So if you are in a hurry, then you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video. And I will there give you uh, my concise opinion on the game and tell you whether or not, in my opinion, the game is worth $15. So the game costs... $15 and we will see today if this game is worth $15. So the game is a twin stick shooter. You move up and down with W, A, S and D. Left click is shooting. Right click is an ability. You can see there at the bottom left my ability is being recharged right now. And I assume you will get a lot of different weapons and stuff like that throughout the game. The game is a rogue light uh, game. Hey, if you want, I can teach you how to play. It's a tutorial. I mean, will it really be so difficult? I mean, it, it's a twin stick shooter. How difficult? Can a twin stick shooter be? It can't be that difficult. I've played a lot of twin stick shooters. Okay, so there's different characters that you can choose from. There's Dra Draco, uh, jump, skill, acro jump, mana decent. I don't know what any of this means. Uh, a bear grills heal 25% before a boss battles. Uh, I wonder if that is a reference to bear girls sleeping in hotels instead of sleeping in the wilderness like he advertises. It actually would make sense. Uh, bonus finder plus 10 percent special boxes last resort when no when no ammo hitting enemies creates ammo drops okay when no ammo hitting enemies creates ammo drops uh, reach world 2 collect 69 coins nice uh, reach world 3 uh, blah 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 uh, careful user consumables have plus one use Sharpshooter plus 30 range, must have plus 3 max MP on level up. That sounds nice, more HP and more range. Definitely sounds better than more ammo and more special boxes to be honest. Even though the healing is nice, plus 25 HP before every boss battle sounds nice, but the range sounds really nice. Extra range is always nice on a uh, twin stick shooter. Uh, heal 2 for every new island, plus 20 damage against bosses, more ammo drops. Randomized stats, skill and weapon gain random. Here 3 relic gain 2 random DNA abilities from any euro. That sounds very good, but everything is random. Randomized stats, skills and weapon, randomized tier 3 relic, randomized abilities, like everything is random, so it can be good, can be bad. No poison damage, poison heals instead, wooden boxes contain at least one coin. I don't know, I think this one will be pretty good, but this one will also be pretty good. So let's take this one, even though I know nothing about the game right now. We're gonna take this one. What does that ability do? Can't I see what the ability does? Okay, so I did a right click and I don't see anything that actually happened. I don't know what right click actually does. 
I don't see. I don't know. Like, I can't see what what it does at all. Okay. Who's universe? What's this? Okay, so that's basically easy, medium, hard, all of that different kind of stuff. Right now we can't do anything, so we are on the ducky, uh, ducky, uh, difficulty. Uh, fury up, fury down, I can't change fury right now, there's 20 fury ranks on each of the difficulties as well. And then universe info, okay, that's that. Okay. Meta upgrades. Okay, that's pretty nice. So you will get meta coins in order to unlock meta progression. If you don't know what meta progression is, uh, that is where the rogue light system comes in. Uh, obviously, this game is not a rogue like because this game is nothing like rogue this game is a rogue light that means that there is meta progression there is usually perma death for your character and there is usually uh uh progression no uh randomized levels so those are the three most important things when it comes to rogue light games Meta progression is very, very important as well. Extra easy mode. I don't know if these will actually cost anything. Time flow. Energy doesn't fade, plus one region instead. More enemies, max life, maximum weapon mods is three higher. Plus two lives. Time only moves when you move. That sounds nice. Start with plus one weapon slot but cannot gain more. Time flow is 15% slower. Weapon mods will not appear. Alien tech drops are replaced by one re tier one relics. Sidearm damage. Weird angle, camera is locked up close and there's nothing you can do. Now anomalies land on enemy sets to squash them. No ammo drops, how the hell will that work? Okay, let's take this one. I don't know if you can actually take multiple. Okay, you can you can actually take multiple, but what will stop you from taking multiple I don't really understand. Like what really stops you? From taking multiple. Where's the good stamina one? Because I don't see any of these that are the good stamina one. And yet here at the bottom it says good stamina. I'm not sure. Anyway, accept. And start easy minus 60. Okay, so if you take this away, what does that do? Normal. Okay, so let's take normal. So if you take these things, it uh, changes the score multiplier, I assume. So let's start on normal. Like I say, I've played a lot of... Uh, uh, twin stick shooters so it shouldn't be rocket science to be honest i still don't know what my right click ability does to be honest okay well that was a very easy very easy uh, level. What does this do? 
Oh, I can't shoot. I can't left click when I'm standing on top of these. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Not enough money. Okay, you can actually jump with space. That's pretty cool. And you can change guns with shift. So you press shift in order to change guns. I wonder if you can jump into the water. I assume you can because I can actually jump over here. So uh, I guess we don't really want to fall into the water. This gun only has like four bullets. But it shoots very quickly. Okay, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, you can actually destroy the trees. Is it mana? Oh, okay. Apparently it's mana. So, uh, I right clicked and used my ability and I then picked up that thing. I don't know what this is. Can I jump on top of it? Okay, apparently I can jump on top of it, but I can't do anything else. I don't even know what the uh, the controls are. So let's have a look. Fire special is Q. That's my ability on the bottom right. Walk up, down, left, right. Use R to activate. And that's pretty much it. R and T in order to use uh, a consumable. I really don't know what this is still. Let's have a look here. I can't see... Oh, okay, your projectiles have homing for 4 seconds. Okay, so that's what my ability does. So I can uh, right click and then my abilities uh, or my bullets have homing. That's pretty interesting. Wow, that thing is really powerful. I like the music. What's this fire? Okay, fire damages me. So where was that other healing um, thing? Was it over here? Or did it disappear? Yeah, I think it disappeared probably. And there's nothing further that I can do over here. So unfortunately, the consumables in the game disappear. That's something that I don't like. I don't like it when uh, stuff disappears in games.
And why did that thing lower? Okay, I got that. Okay, so I can open that with a ch with a key, and then I can open this thing with a key as well. I don't know which one I would rather want to open, to be honest. Let's open this one. Okay, what did that actually do? Is it literally just like a power up? Is that what you're telling me? Because I don't think I gained anything from that. I like it that almost literally everything in the game is destructible. That's really nice. I don't know what this thing over here is. I don't know if I want to open another one. Because it seems like those might be power-ups or something like that. I'm not really sure. That's a big explosion. Hey, okay, what's this? I assume that's going to be difficult to deal with. Hey, okay, but let's do it. Okay, was that it? Okay, I guess that's it. I don't know what this is. There's like a thing here on the ground. I'm not sure what that is. get that thing right now it sucks that there's uh, loot that you can actually lose if it decides to fall into the water I'm not a fan of that Power shot when shooting. Cannot install weapon on the sidearm. Okay, can we install it on your charge weapon when shooting? Ah, uh, global limit, blah blah blah. Now let's scrap this. This doesn't sound like a particularly powerful mod. Okay, what's this? Okay, I can't get it. I should be able to destroy this thing because... Okay, there we go. Because it's not showing me uh, that I can't, like it did with the other ones. I don't know what this is. It, it, uh, I'm not sure what these green... Green stones are. Hey, okay, that guy looks friendly. Hello living, I need your flesh to become full again. A pound will suffice. Okay, buy tier 1 relic, obtain tier 3 relic, and obtain 
30 gold but it's maximum this is going to take some of my maximum hp so that's really bad um i'm not uh, really sure if i want to pay maximum hp um in order to get a relic that seems a little bit rough if it was just normal hp like not maximum hp just 10 hp then i wouldn't mind too much but maximum hp is uh, a little bit uh crazy to be honest okay let's open this i don't know uh what's this uh, if hp below 50 percent increase fire rate by 50 percent uh that doesn't sound bad but i don't like this gun that i have right now i i don't really want to use this mod on this gun i would prefer to use um the mod on another gun um so it's maybe a nice mod but i don't want to use it on this gun let's see if i can jump over here doesn't seem like I can do anything over here. Uh, this is going to be a boss battle over here. I will want to come back here. I think I will be able to come back after the boss fight. So let's do the boss fight. Necronomaza wizard. Necronomazard. Bookwork bookworm person in a way HP, all of that good stuff. Get perk. Okay, so I have a perk. Clear all radiation. Jump upgrade. Jump fast plus less cooldown. Jump weapon. Super stick also triggers on hit. Well, I don't know what that means. Jump weapon. Super stick. Also triggers on hit. I don't know what any of that means. Um... Right away, clears all radiation. I mean, the jump, the jumping seems good. The stick, I don't know what the stick is. Jump weapon, super stick, cooldown, also triggers on it. I don't know what any of that means. The reflex training seems good. Even though I don't jump. I, I honestly do not jump often. So let's take this thing. The uh, stick. Uh, perk. Uh, I don't know where I can see my perks, to be honest. Let's see here. Weapon mod. Uh, gain 400 XP. Enemies will occasionally drop extra XP. That's really good. Gain tier 3 chest. And this gives uh, range and keys and that kind of stuff. This one seems the best by far, to be honest uh memory cartridge so let's pick this one up okay i don't know what my experience does i think that up there to the top left is my experience i can only assume uh let's have a look here okay blah 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 I really don't know what the stick does. I wish the developers would actually tell you in, in more in-depth what it actually does. 
but uh, there you go. I don't think I can do anything else here right now. It says one up there, which I don't know. I'm assuming. Do I have like one perk point or what? Because I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, sure, I skipped the uh, the tutorial, but I mean, uh, I don't think I'm missing anything. I just think that, to be honest. The game is not telling me a lot of the stuff that it needs to tell me. Like, this is pretty poor. I don't know what this does at all. Uh, I don't know what that up the, at the top left does. I don't know what it's showing. Uh, there's just really a bunch of stuff. Okay, that was a special ability that I just used by pressing Q. I probably should not have done that. Um, let's go back over here. Do I want to use this or what? I think I can equip it on this weapon as well. But I don't see really why I would want to do, to, to do that. Let's scrap this. I mean, it's okay. It's not a, not a brilliant perk, but... Uh, or a mod at least. Let's scrap that. I don't really think it's going to be super useful. Especially on this weapon that only has like 4 bullets. You know, what's the use of having increased fire rate if you only have 4 bullets in your magazine. It's a little bit useless to be honest. So I'm still full XP or uh, HP at least. That is shield. I don't think I can do anything else. I don't really see the point of breaking down trees. So far I haven't gained anything from breaking down trees. Request pick up. Well, that's pretty much all I can do right now. I mean, I've done everything so far. I don't think I've missed anything. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we're done with the first area. Okay. Uh, minus 8 max HP. Choose tier 3 relic. Uh, plus one random weapon. Bosses will always drop weapon, uh, special weapon icy spear. So that changes my special weapon. Uh, special weapon blade. So these are different classes. This this gives me different classes. Let's look at the upgrades. Gain one weapon slot, one me weapon mod, plus three max HP per character level and gain some currency so you can choose any one of these plus one weapon slot um, let's choose the character level that will give me more max hp in the long run and then i can choose a class Uh, bosses will always drop a weapon. This one doesn't sound so good. You literally just gain a tier 3 relic, which could be good, but I mean, this one will continually reward you with weapons. I think that's pretty good. And this is okay, plus 20% evasion. The speed isn't helpful, to be honest, but the evasion will be helpful. But let's go for this one. And then I get a different weapon. Uh, my current weapon doesn't seem very good. This new weapon does about twice the amount of damage that my current one does. First, plus 30% damage, but you take 
plus 30% damage yourself. So that seems pretty good. I don't know how much ammo the new weapon will have. The current weapon has 70 ammo. Um, don't know how good the new one will be. Add to inventory. So we can add it to inventory. Let's add it to inventory and then let's have a look. We're 86 bullets. Okay, so I can use this one's bullets and then I can swap to that one afterwards. That's fine. I'm happy with that. And now I have a new a new special skill down there. You unlocked Armon Arm. Okay. Whatever that is. I still think these are power-ups or some kind that you can use, but they only affect the island that you are currently on, which seems a little bit useless to be honest. I hate the fact that uh, money and consumables disappear. That's really fucking irritating. Okay, I have 20 gold. Passive effect chance for free activation when taking damage. When you clear an island, gain plus 10 ammo for your equipped weapon. Full fire immunity. This is a new gun. I really don't need a new gun, I don't think. All of these are new guns. This is a new special gun. Inci invincibility on shoot. Plus 30% experience. That seems really good. How much does it cost? 10. 10. What uh, special ability does my current weapon have? I wonder. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Piercing. Okay, so it does piercing. Uh, but that 30% extra experience I think will be really, really good. That sounds very good. So let's buy that. I think that's good. Pick it up. And then this one I can scrap, I think. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think these other ones will be good. Perform a powerful AoE attack. That sounds good, but it uses so much mana, I don't even have enough mana to actually use it. So uh, yeah, that's not going to be all that helpful if I get a new skill that I can't even use at all. What the hell was that? I jumped and then something shot out. And when do I have that ability? Is it literally this other one that I got? Um, this one. Jump, super stick, also triggers on hit. I assume so. I don't know what it does specifically. Okay, so I triggered some kind of a special chest.
Come on, are you going to come out? Weapon mod disable all spread. Cannot install on sidearm. Um, okay, so I can install it on my other weapon. Ouch, what the hell? What the hell was that? Uh, disable all spread. That sounds good. I guess we can do that. Uh, now it will simply shoot three arrows in a straight line. That sounds good. Spread obviously is not so good against uh, bosses or anything like that. We are pretty much done with this island. I still don't know what these these portal thingies are on the ground. A heal. We don't need to heal. When switching weapons, gain rage for two seconds. Rage. What does Rage actually do? It does not show me. So I have to choose whether I want the thing or not. Uh, and they don't show me what it actually does. Which obviously is a little bit infuriating. I don't know what those shields are at the top left. Once again, hovering over them, the game does not tell you. So, unfortunately, it seems the game has quite a big problem with informing the player of um, various things, obviously. Uh, that's a problem. When you design a game, you need to design a game which gives the player an almost irritating level of information you should not be withholding uh, information at all i hate the fact that loot disappears really Oh, that thing is actually alive. How do I destroy it? That's irritating. I don't know what a lot of these things do. Okay, those are traps, it seems. Holy crap. There's a lot of things that I still find confusing. It might be because I skipped the tutorial, but I mean... A lot of this stuff needs to be self-explanatory, to be honest. And it simply isn't. Okay, I leveled up. You can see there at the top left. I don't know how to spend my points or anything like that. I don't even know if I have points, to be honest. Okay, I can't do anything to that dude. I still don't know what this sticky, sticky jump of mine does. 
Okay, there's nothing in there. Uh, can I, like, how can I, uh, sign points or anything like that? I literally don't know how to assign points. Uh, blah blah blah. Ab. Nope, I literally don't know how to assign points. It shows me there at the top. A two. It shows a two, but like... Do you think that I can uh, assign anything? My uh, thing over here at the bottom right isn't recharging. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to get that done. It's just a lot of stuff that I'm getting the feeling are being omitted for some reason. I mean, I, I, I don't know how to level up. Well, I don't know if you can level up. I don't know what that uh, two at the top of my screen actually is supposed to represent or do. Okay. Scrap chest. So you can scrap a chest or you can um, open the chest. I did not even know that. Summon a glider station. Flyer pass. Well, I don't know what it does, but let's let's have a look, I guess. I don't know. So I can press T to um, activate the glider. I don't know what it does, but I guess we will find out once I use it. Perk, jump weapon boomerangs, jump equips weapon majolnir, gain tier 3 relic. Um, I don't know, let's take a tier 3 re relic. Projectiles return when reaching maximum range. Uh, that sounds good, I guess. Projectiles return when reaching maximum range. That sounds good. What's this? Powers are still unknown. Edible. Consume to learn more. Okay, let's do that. Uh, plus maximum HP. Okay. I gained some HP there. Okay, so this can actually heal. Uh, let's put that in our inventory and then equip the um, flyer thing. Okay, so now my, my bullets return. That's pretty nice. Okay, I can't attack that thing at all. Okay, where's the next enemy? That's it. Stop attacking me, please. Okay, what's that? Okay, so how do I... Uh, how do I do this? The box is purple, so maybe I should use my special ability even though I have no energy, so I can't do that. Okay, uh, this shows a weapon, so I assume I'm gonna get a weapon out of it. Yes, I get a weapon out of it. Overdrive blaster. Uh, it looks a lot like the weapon that I had previously, and it also has 30 
uh, or a 70 ammo, the same as my previous uh, weapon. Let's put it into the inventory. So far I've been doing very well with my normal weapon. It doesn't seem like I even need another weapon to be completely honest. I don't know what this uh, area shows over here. I don't know what that uh, flying halo thing over there is. I really don't know. There's a lot of things in this game that I uh, just don't know. They're just foreign to me. Okay, let's teleport back over here. Can I attack those? Apparently not. Oh, those suck me in. They literally draw me closer. Blow up a nuke and take no damage. Okay, let's uh, add that to our inventory. I like this uh, return thing, it's actually quite a lot more powerful than what I thought it would be because it literally doubles your ammo, so it's uh, really quite powerful. Okay, anything else that we need to do? That was the cash shop 28, uh, I think we have enough now, okay apparently the cash shop closes once you enter it, you can't re-enter the cash shop, that is unfortunate. Okay, we can heal if we want to, but we don't need to do that. So next up is the boss, so let's take it on with this weapon. We should be able to deal with the boss pretty quickly. Bubble Tech Warrior. Rad or bad, you decide. Hostiles detected, one. Okay, well that was very quick. This weapon does a lot of damage. I didn't even take a single hit. No, don't disappear. Fuck, I hate the fact that stuff disappears in this, this game. That's really, really irritating. Um, but yeah, this weapon is really powerful, especially since it doesn't have spread. So it shoots three arrows directly to where I am aiming, which makes it really powerful. Okay, so we can choose our next passive ability, uh, extra fire rate and bullet speed, fire rate sidearm damage, that's really powerful, and then fire rate speed only while, only while jump is unavailable. Okay. We're definitely going to take this one, that's incredibly powerful, it makes me about 30 to 40 percent more powerful since it gives me uh, more fire rate and damage and then we have another weapon here bursting blah 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 uh, I wonder can you scrap items once they're in your inventory let's quickly have a look drop okay so I can drop it uh, let's see drop Okay, can't I drop it? I'm clicking and dragging. Okay, there I dropped it. And then I can scrap it. Okay, yeah. So I just wanted to be 100% sure that you can, in fact, drop an item. Uh, disables all spread. That's right, we want that one. And then add to inventory add to inventory 
So you can pick up a weapon and then scrap it later on if you want. Uh, so this is, uh, I don't know what that is, but let's head over here first. I gained some uh, energy now on that one. Oh, I don't actually want to uh, shoot with that one. Holy shit, that was a quick, uh, quick one. Let's see, talk. So you're saying that there's no more chance, huh? Well, I can call a ship for you, but man, Karma is a witch. Okay, call ship. Or mom. So... Uh, this one, uh, well, both of them cost um, money, but the one gives pl plus luck, the other one gives minus luck. So I don't know what would really be the difference. I don't really understand. Let's do this and then talk. So you're saying that there's no chance, huh? Well, I can call a ship for you, but man, Karma is a witch. So it's saying I can call a ship for you. He's talking to me. He can call a ship for me. Um, so if I don't call a ship, I don't really quite understand... I don't know. I don't really quite understand what the use of I either of these are. And then if I can ignore it and send him to safety, I can do that. But I don't understand really what that would do either. I don't know what the point is of uh, doing either of these. Let's do the plus luck one. Let's call mom. And he just disappeared and my luck increased. So I don't know. I really don't know, to be honest, what either of those did. I don't know what the repercussions of either of them would be. Okay. okay. Request pickup. We can do that. But first, let's see what's in here. Okay. Uh... So, scrapping this gives 100 energy. Uh, I can buy it, but it gives me minus 7 max HP. But it gives me plus 10 damage. Um, so, you're getting plus 10% damage for minus 7 max HP. Uh, if you look at my current amount of artifacts, it looks like you can have an unlimited amount of artifacts, which obviously is pretty good. I hope that you can have an unlimited amount of artifacts. Um, but I'm not really too sure, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I don't really think that I want to really pay max hp for extra damage but why not let's go balls to the wall and let's do that why not we ain't afraid of no ghosts okay so we have done there i don't think there's anything else left that we can do Let's just make sure I didn't forget anything here. This just heals me. I don't need healing. That shop is closed. Over here. Uh, I don't know how to unlock this. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. So yeah, that's pretty much that then. I don't know if I can use my weapon to shoot this box open perhaps i can do that let's try that okay apparently that is how that works you need to use your weapon to open those boxes uh let's see plus 30 percent energy gain gain health when using this weapon that's really nice but like I said, my current one 
actually is really really good because it gives me 30% extra um, experience. So it's really good with regards to experience. So this one gives 30% more energy but honestly the, these enemy energy weapons I haven't used it offensively a single time so far so uh, they're not super good in my opinion. So let's uh, scrap this one. And that's pretty much that. I don't know what I got from that, but okay. And let's request pickup. So, so far we've uh, pretty much gotten the feeling for the game. Like I said, it's a roguelite game. There's meta progression, obviously. And uh, you just basically see how long you can make it without dying. Uh, let's have a look. Gain one weapon and mod slots. Enemies deal 20% more damage. Uh, that's a little bit rough. 20% more damage from the enemies seem a little bit rough. Mod slot, weapon slot. I don't really know why I would want an additional weapon slot to be completely honest with you. The mod slot sounds better. I don't know if it's a mod, if it's specifically mod slots on my weapons. I'm not too sure if it's on the weapon or not on the weapon. It doesn't say anywhere that I have plus mod slots, to be honest. So I'm not, I'm not too, too certain about that one. Okay, let's jump into the next uh, area. I've unlocked Tesla Professor. Let's talk. Have you ever thought about gaining experience without actually experiencing stuff? I can make it work. So I can buy experience for money. I don't know how much 400 experience is. I. I really don't know. I, it, I assume that over there is my experience, but I don't know. The game literally doesn't th tell you that kind of stuff. I don't know what this is. I can't damage it. Ouch! I need your clothes, your boots and your motorcycle. No motorcycle, no matter anything will do then I can pay handsomely. Okay, uh, so I can sell a weapon. Why can't I sell my weapon? I can only sell my weapon. Well, I can only sell my special weapon. It doesn't allow me to sell anything else. I wonder why that is. Do I need to equip the weapon first? Let's have a look. I do have a couple of weapons here. That one is 56. Uh, this one is clearly weaker and my other one so let's swap to that one and then uh let's talk to him again okay now i can sell my weapon confirm okay and you can only sell one at a time you can't sell multiple weapons that sucks and it i sold my mod with the weapon how fucking stupid is that of the game developers like if you switch oh, your weapon like let's say i switch this weapon to that weapon the mod stays on either weapons so your your mod is equipped here it's not actually equipped on the weapon but i literally there uh sold the mod and the weapon which doesn't make sense since when you swap weapons the mod stays on all of your weapons so you're not actually equipping the mod on either of your weapons 
you are simply equipping the mod on your character. So I really did not expect the mod to also be sold there. That's a really stupid in my opinion. Hilariously stupid in fact from the developers. Uh, pray to ba Balbior. Balbior. Okay. Uh, minus 70% current HP. And then I get max HP. Max HP plus damage. Enemy HP. Enemy speed. Enemy speed? I mean, do I really care about enemy speed? I don't really care about enemy speed, to be honest. That seems like the best choice, to be honest. Uh, minus enemy HP, but plus enemy speed. Yeah, speed isn't going to really bother me, to be honest. Otherwise, I would have gone for this. This seems pretty good as well. Uh, 10 plus maximum HP will give me around 7 or 8 maximum HP in total. But this reduces all enemy HP, which I think is pretty good. So let's go for that one. That seems pretty good. I'm really disappointed that my, my mod was also uh, sold there. That's really stupid. Why can't I damage this fucking thing? Okay, it's dead now. Why didn't I lose any uh, bullets? Okay, I'm losing bullets now, but I didn't lose bullets previously. Okay, let's see... Okay, so if you pick up ammo, your ammo does actually not get rejuvenated. So that's something we need to remember. When you pick up ammo, you only pick up ammo for your active gun. The gun that you currently have active. You don't gain uh, each, uh, ammo for all guns. I was hoping for him to not hit me, but... What can you do? A rare sidearm. So this one's uh, DPS is quite a lot lower. Uh, better damage, decreased range. Okay, let's have a look how this one actually works. Okay, so that's how it works. So this will obviously be better on single target. And it does... Well, it does three times the damage than the Tripster does. Uh, but it shoots slower. Um... But yeah, it's actually a really good weapon in my opinion. So uh, I think we can uh, switch to this one. Seems pretty good. Um, so let's add that to the inventory. And open this one. They perform a powerful AoE blast. That's the other one that I could have taken previously. But um, obviously I don't even have enough mana to cast it since it takes 32 mana. So we're just going to scrap that one.
This weapon also has piercing, which is really nice. Okay, let's first have a look at this. Use your mana to slowly regain HP when it's below 50%. So use your mana to slowly, slowly regain HP when it's below 50%. So does your mana slowly regain when it's below 50% or does your health slowly regain when it's below 50%? I'm not really sure. Touching enemy poisons them. No contact damage from enemies. That sounds pretty nice. Mashing shoot button will increase fire rate. Mashing shoot button. Well, this current weapon that I have does require you to mash the button. If you hold in the button like this, then nothing happens. Literally, I'm holding the button in right now. So you have to actually click, click, click the button you guys probably can't hear it on the microphone because my mouse is very silent but i am actually click click clicking my mouse when i shoot with this uh, weapon so this will be good for my current weapon use your mana to slowly regain hp when it's below 50 percent this really the the developers of this game really need to explain the mods and all of the stuff in the game much 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 better because they're doing a really really poor job of informing the player of what the different stuff in the game actually does like this this uh, kite thing over here to the bottom right i still don't know what that actually does but okay use your mana to slowly regain hp while it's below 50%. That sounds very good. It sounds as if it would allow you to survive much longer throughout the game. So I am going to take that. Because health is obviously very important in a game like this where it is difficult to regain health. The voices in my head, make them stop. Take what you want and go away. Leave me alone. Okay, take his bag or gun let's take his bag or we can send him to the ship i don't know which one is better let's uh, send him to safety i don't know what that actually does i don't know what the benefits are but i guess we will find out once we actually die since obviously like i said the game is a rogue light you are supposed to die in the game now what did this guy want again oh he wanted to uh, sell me some experience i might do that even though i still don't know what the benefit of experience is okay so that's a shop we will not enter the shop right now. Ouch. Holy crap. Okay. 
So the more we play the game, the more we will obviously learn what all of the different abilities of the enemies are. Like, for instance, that's the very first enemy that I've encountered that actually has a suicide explosion type thing that happens. Okay, this is a new sidearm. Uh, it seems very, very similar to mine, but holy shit, it does a lot more damage. So let's take it and see. Yeah, this one seems really good. Holy crap. Does almost three times the damage that mine does right now. This is potentially a very, very, very good uh, sidearm. Obviously, it doesn't pierce like my other one does, but this one will be much, much, much better against um, bosses. Because obviously against the boss, uh, piercing doesn't really matter. It doesn't really come into the equation. Edible mushroom, pick up, use, uh, plus mana, full mana. Okay, so that gives you uh, mana. Inventory is full. Okay, so our inventory is officially full. I don't know how that is possible since um, I still seem to have spaces here at the bottom left. I don't really understand that. I still have spaces left, but okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use this nuke, to be completely honest with you. Um, let's drop it. Can I drop it? Okay, I dropped that. This heals me. This one I'm definitely not going to use anymore, so let's drop that one. For the tripster I'm going to uh, scrap and the nuke I'm gonna scrap as well and then I can pick this up even though I'm not gonna use it to be completely honest with you um, let's equip that I still don't know what this actually does like literally it says summons a glider station. I don't know what that is. But I guess I have to use it in order to find out what it actually does. Even though, like I said, I would really much, much, much prefer uh, that the developers of the game actually not hide stuff from you and that they actually... Uh, Tell you what the various things in the game do, instead of uh, leaving you in the dark. Uh, Reroll nearby item or weapon or consumable. Five charges. That sounds very good. Um, yes, I don't know what this flyer thing does. Let's use it and see. Okay, well. Okay, so maybe I could have used this on the previous level where that was that high, um, high thing, you remember? Um, there was like a little circle in the sky, basically. Maybe I could have used that there. Perhaps, but okay, I'm definitely going to take this re-roller, because this seems very good, and then I'm going to scrap this, to be honest, I don't really see much of a use for it. Uh, can I re-roll it? That would be pretty interesting, but no, I don't think I'm going to re-roll it. Let's just scrap it, just like that. 
Holy crap, I actually blew up the uh, healing station. I don't, didn't know I can do that. Okay, so you can actually fly pretty high with this fucking thing. I like how far this uh, bullets of this gun go. They go really far. Like, look at that. Like, almost the entire screen. Okay, plus 30% experience gain as well. Uh, my current one. Or 90 damage. Well, this new one does more damage. And it also gives um, more, well, no, it doesn't give more experience, but my old one is explosive. The new one isn't explosive. I don't know. Um, I don't really know which one is better. Let's go with a new one. Why not? And then let's sell that one, or uh, scrap it at least. Okay, so that's pretty much that on this side. Let's have a look. Nothing else really that I can do. This is the pickup area, I think. Not too sure. Thing I can do over there. So I basically have to go to the boss now. I don't think there's anything else left to do. I can unlock this thing if I want, but I'm not sure. Like, this is another thing. I don't like the fact that everything is hidden. Like, I want to see what are in these chests. Instead of just showing a little icon like this, I actually want to see what's in these chests. Um, because, I mean, you need to be able to make an informed decision uh, with regards to these kind of, of stuff, you know. I also don't know how to break this crystal. I assume that perhaps you can do it with the Q once again. Um, but I'm not sure, really. Okay, so this one wants to buy, well, wants to sell me experience. I guess we can do that, even though... Like I said, I don't even know what the use of experience is right now. But okay, let's buy some experience. Why not? Whole bunch of experience. Okay, jump high. Clear all radiation. I don't know what the radiation does. I don't know what it is. Super leg, I don't know what uh, jumping high, like what's the use. And I don't know what the radiation does. Let's take the super leg, I don't know. Okay, so now I can jump really quite high. Uh, doesn't seem super useful to me, but okay. Let's uh, use our Q on this thing. Okay, so I actually broke through it. So, uh, I don't know, I got three coins from it. That's something, I guess, even though a little bit underwhelming. And then I can jump over here and go into the shop if I want to, even though I only have 14 coins right now, which is obviously not a lot. So let's jump over here, kill the boss, and then perhaps after that we will see how many coins we have. Uh, do I want to use my other weapon? Um, not really, to be honest. I think we can stay with this one. It does a lot of damage. So we can stay with this one. Skeletron is not dead yet. Ouch.
Okay, I don't want to get exploded on by that fucking thing. So that was really fucking close. Okay. That was actually the first battle where I really almost died. Uh, but obviously it takes a little while to actually learn the boss. You know, like some bosses can be easy if you know their abilities ahead of time. Obviously we don't know their abilities ahead of time. Uh, that one doesn't seem so good. Plus 40 gold, it doesn't seem so good. Uh, plus 10 damage, gain 3 weapons. Seems pretty good. Let's take this one. Uh, let's see. So that's a special weapon, special weapon, special weapon, special weapon. None of these are... Uh, side arms uh, DPS 190 240 bad 160 and 330 so this one's uh, damage is pretty much the same as the one that I currently have, but it has a higher fire rate. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 35, so it has a lot less uh, projectiles or ammo than my current one. But it does more damage, considerably more damage actually. So, okay, let's uh, sell these ones, the ones that I'm definitely not going to use. We can sell those. Get a key out of that. Get another key out of that. Once again, I don't really know what the objective of the keys are. I simply don't know. And then we can pick that one up. Uh, I suit you. Okay, by wheeler, by walker, by legs. By walker? I don't know. I don't know what any of these will do. Once again, the developers unfortunately leave you without knowing anything. Let's buy a walker, I guess. Fifth, uh, six gold, that can't be too bad. Obtain a walker for 15 seconds, suit absorbs 80% incoming damage. So that basically will just help you stay alive for 15 seconds. Not really super useful. I mean, it's useful in keeping you alive, certainly, but uh, really not much else. Um, I can re-roll it if I want to, if I want to re-roll this item. I can use my re-roller to re-roll re re this item. Um, doesn't seem too bad. I mean, let's do it. So re-roll, heal up 20 HP. Uh, how do I use it again? Can't I use it? Item not charged. Okay, so how do you charge it? don't understand how you actually charge it. Okay. Well, uh, let's use this. It gives me more mana. Let's use this. Gives me more HP. And then we can pick this up. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I don't know how to, to recharge this one. I don't know if it recharges over time. 
or what? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what did I miss? Did I miss anything? There's mana over there. That won't help me. I have a bunch of keys that I can use. I don't think that will help me. There's more mana over there. There's a chest thing over here, which I'm assuming will just give me more of this power stuff. I can go in here, I guess, even though I don't have any money, but I have no way of getting more money. So I guess uh, it's a little bit of a uh, catch-22. I have a shop, but I don't have any money to use in the shop. So I can buy a weapon over here. And every 20th attack also fires a grenade. Some weapons. Uh, replace your sidearm with a golden gun. That sounds interesting. But yeah, there's nothing that I can do right now. And I don't believe I can sell weapons. You can't even sell weapons or items. That's really poor. I would really have wanted to have the option to actually sell weapons and stuff like that. But you can't, so that's pretty unfortunate. So yeah, we're done with this level. I don't think there's anything else that we can do. Yeah, I think we are pretty much done here. I think that's pretty much that. We're done here, yeah. Descend. Okay, so we don't get to go back to the ship this time. That's a first. get a good amount of uh um ouch good amount of uh money from these crates usually we don't get money from these crates so i can break open these crates with my power thing so let's give that a go let's stand over here and use my power over there Okay, so we broke open three chests. Out of this one we get the random NPC thing, and out of this one we... Uh, Bo Bo Bolo follows enemies and eats them. Okay, that sounds interesting. Uh, to be honest, I don't really have a uh, use for my current ability anymore. Uh, because it was nice and everything with my... Um, previous gun that split you know that shot out the three triple bullets but now this ability that i currently have is pretty damn useless so i think um this new ability will certainly be more useful than my homing device thing so let's uh tell that and this makes a random npc so let's do that, why not? Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, gain max HP. Uh, max mana. Max mana seems really good. Let's do that. 15 mana for 10 money. That seems really good. And then let's create another one. Reroll weapon, reroll relic, reroll skills. Okay. My services are basically free. They are less than free, less than two. What are you talking to me? Well, I'm the one, only one here. Reroll relic. What relic will it reroll? And uh, the same with weapon. What weapon will it reload? And the same with skills. What skill will it reroll? That's really um, 
ambiguous with regards to what it will actually do. It can reroll any of my relics. Or perhaps it can reroll any of my weapons? I don't know. They really don't tell you. That really sucks. I really wish the game would tell you more about what's actually fucking going on. Um, reroll a relic? I don't know, I don't really want to lose any of my good relics. Let's go for reroll a relic and see what happens. Okay, memory cartridge. What did the memory cartridge actually do? Okay, what does this actually do? You will choose how this item is installed. On kill. On timer. On switch weapon. On timer. Um. On kill will be pretty good. That will mean that you will have haste for a lot of the time, but on timer will also basically mean that you have haste for a lot of the time. Um, on timer. Let's go for on timer. Okay. Um, so I don't know, memory module, what was the memory module? Memory module. I can't remember what memory module was. It would be really nice if they told you what actually was removed, you know? Um, but I mean, I guess that's life. We, we lost the relic, and I don't know what relic we lost. I really don't know. A little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? That's life. Okay, so this is heist. Every five seconds, we will m get heist for two seconds. So it literally just seems to make you move faster. I just need to watch my health as well. Don't take too much additional damage. like this gun I have to say okay so this will give me a new uh, gun I'm pretty happy with my guns right now to be honest I don't feel like I need a new gun I might just scrap that one what's this let's open this one see what happens When scrapping, gain plus two gold. That seems really good. Because I do scrap quite a lot. And this will encourage me to scrap even more. Okay, so there's two more things over there that I can burst into. Let's see, can I move this? No, I can't move it. Holy shit. Okay, so I just fell down. I didn't even know that you can fall down. Uh, let's see. No, I can't. I can't push this. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna have to. What does that do? Just gonna have to bump it from this side to that side. I missed that one, unfortunately, but not much we can do. Uh, 
special weapon, invincibility on shoot, I don't really care about that. My current one gives me more experience, so I'm gonna keep that one. So we can scrap that one, get a key, and we get some money. Okay, so this one, holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Uh, 600 DPS. That's, that's a lot more than my current one. My current one gives piercing, sure, but... Um, yeah, the pulse laser seems really good. So we are gonna get rid of that one. And I can open this one as well with my Q if I want to. I mean, why not? Uh, that one over there is a key. You open it with a key, I believe. Yeah, you open that one with a key. I don't know what these buttons do. I mean, I pressed I pressed that one and this one, but I didn't see anything happen, really. Okay, so let's use this thing to uh, open up. And I get five radiation something, I'm not sure. I don't know what that means. I see radiation over there, but I, do I don't know what it does. Obviously, once again, uh, like I said, the game is really quite um, quite bad at actually giving you information a lot of the times. Okay, so are those not... So you can't attack them apparently. Yes, that's fine. Okay, epic sidearm. Uh, okay, let's see how it works. Oh, okay, so it's a melee sidearm. Why the hell would you uh, want a melee sidearm? That just seems really stupid. Melee is definitely not going to be very good in this game, I can tell you that much. Okay, so here's another um, mushroom. Let's eat it. Minus two max HP. Okay, that's unfortunate. So that's clearly not a uh, mushroom that you really want to eat. So let's scrap that. Get four coins. There's a little Pikachu there on the ground. Okay, so this one I can destroy with my ability. I guess we can do that. Not. Okay, I don't know what I got from that. No idea. Um, what's this? Once again, I really would like to know what I get from these things, but... What can you do? Let's open this one. Falling into red water only hurts a little. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. Doesn't seem too bad. I don't know what this one does, but let's open it. Okay, health. Okay. Uh, judging by the icon that was on top of the thing, that seems actually pretty, um, pretty expected, to be honest. I mean, it had a uh, icon of a healing thing on it, and it actually gave me healing. So that's pretty uh, expected. What's this? Fail. Buy now. Three. Let's buy it. Unlock weapon. Okay, mortar. Uh, that doesn't seem very good, in my opinion. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to the one that I currently have. and I unlock the new weapon. I don't know really what's the point of that was. I don't know if I unlock the weapon in the character creator screen or something like that. I'm assuming that I unlock the uh, thing in the character creator screen because it says weapon unlocked and uh, that weapon uh, is not in my inventory. Well, no, it isn't in my inventory right now, so I can only assume that I unlocked it in the character creator screen. But okay, that's that's fine, you know. I guess uh, the entire point of the game is to unlock various things through uh, playing the game, you know, various meta progression things. That's the point of a roguelite. You can't have a roguelite without uh, meta progression. Create three tier one relics. That sounds very good. When you clear an island, gain 10 ammo for your equipped weapon. Full fire immunity. That sounds very good. Uh, plus 20 damage, minus 10 sidearm damage. Um, this is obviously good, because overall, you are still getting increased damage, so obviously that is good. And then, uh, plus 10 ammo for your equipped weapon, I mean, I guess it's fine. I mean, I guess that's acceptable. Okay, so I'm a little bit low on health, not really, but I mean... Let's let's be on the safe side and uh, heal a little bit. Always better to be on the safe side. Two different mushrooms. Not sure what the effects of these are. Lose 20 HP. Holy tits. Okay, that's not a good uh, mushroom, obviously. And this one gives me maximum. Uh, what do you call it? Mana. So that one is a piece of shit. We will. Uh, Consume that one and we will equip this again. I don't know what this is. Let's open it and see Okay, that's one um, Free hit those things basically mean 
that it's a free hit. I can take a hit without suffering any damage. That is what I have deduced that uh, thing actually means. Because the game doesn't tell you what it actually means. You have to deduce for yourself. Fire itself once more. That seems really good. Uh, but we can only whip it on our uh, real weapon. Quote unquote real weapon. Not on our sidearm. Which is bad because like the sidearm is actually really powerful. I would like to be able to improve my sidearm as well as my normal weapon. To be honest. I don't know what's going on here. Boss key required. Okay, so that will obviously be a pretty big boss uh, that we're going to fight over here. Necronomazard. Okay, well, I fought this one previously, I think. Ouch. That one was pretty easy, pretty much the same as the uh, previous time. It was also pretty easy, uh, the previous one. Previous time we fought it. Okay, fire damage, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna take this one again. We already have a sixth finger, but now we have two sixth fingers, and that makes our sidearm much better. And then this is not as good as my current one I, I don't think we are certainly getting a lot of money from uh, disenchanting all of these weapons I have to say A few more mushrooms. Okay, so that one I don't know. That one I don't know. And that one I don't know. So I guess we are about to find out. Running shots for 15 seconds. Lose 50 mana, okay, that's not uh, pleasurable, but my mana will regenerate. Explosion. Okay, so basically all of these are pretty useless, so I am just going to disenchant all of them. I hate the fact that the recharger constantly resets. It resets constantly. Like every now and then it will go up to two, three or four and it will never reach five because it seems each time that you throw it on the ground or unequip it, it loses the charges, which is obviously really irritating. That basically means that you can't unequip it ever. Uh, or you will lose your charges. So let me just make sure that I have everything else that I need. That I didn't miss anything. I think I pretty much have everything. I don't see anything that I really missed. It would have been nice if I had more ammo, but... That's life. 
I could uh, switch to one of my other guns. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, this gun is pretty good, so we will definitely do that. Yeah, we will definitely use this one. Okay, weapon slot, weapon mod, HP per character level, perk shard, what's a perk shard? I mean obviously the max HP per character level is nice, but what's the perk shard? Once again it would be really nice if they could actually tell me what it is, but yeah. Uh... Let's go for the max character HP. The max char character HP is just so important since a lot of the uh, stuff in the game, as we've seen already, actually uses your max HP to like buy stuff and stuff like that. So pretty clear that that is uh, pretty important. Okay, so I'm not gonna fight the boss right now, it seems, so I guess we can switch back to my pulse laser. Non-robot detected, establishing connection failed, Siri on, loading 100%. Well, hello dear stranger, I provide unique services. I'm an armorer, jackpot, saber, HP buyer. Uh, jackpot, jackpot, armorer. Let's take the armorer, I don't know what any of these are, but let's take the armorer. Why spirit arm? I don't know, sure, let's do that. Oh, okay, spirit armor. Okay, I understand. That's actually a little bit useless. Um, I would have really liked it if... Uh, once again, they actually tell you what it is, because that's basically a waste. I mean, the spirit armor. I now know what the spirit armor is, but it would have been really nice if I actually knew before. Uh, and what's that? So I have to open it with a key. Don't really have too many keys right now. Oh, okay, so you have to jump over to the other side. Ouch. Even those worms hurt you. Holy crap, there's so many things that hurt you now. The crystals explode. Uh, fucking quail comes out of the uh, enemies, which slows you. Really irritating. The game is clearly getting more difficult. I can't unlock this one without breaking it with my special ability. I mean, I can break it with my special ability if I really want to. It will heal me, at least. Um, but I don't know if I really want to do that.
then what do you actually get out of those? It doesn't look like you get anything from them. Okay, so I can buy more spirit armor. What the hell do you actually get from this? Like, is there some kind of a special thing that you need to do with that thing or what? Because I don't understand. It's a mystery. Okay, that hurts. You obviously don't want to land in the water, I don't think. If it even is water. Probably isn't water. I will pick up that mushroom later. want to drop in the water. unfair they can jump through these ribs but i can't shoot through the ribs that's really unfair they should be blocked by the ribs just like i am poisoned me what the hell is poisoning me okay, I don't want to die was fast detected so I can't run away Gold, obtain skill scroll, obtain alien tech. Um, I'm not really sure what she's asking. Obtain alien tech, I don't know even what that is to be honest. Um, what if I just send her back to the ship? Uh, let's do that. Back to the ship with you. Okay, so this one I can open with a, uh, a key. Fire a hook to pull yourself. Can stun enemies on hit. I'm not really interested in that. Okay, let's unlock this one. I don't know what I got from that. Oh, there was another one over here. I actually should have jumped from there to here, but I didn't, didn't see this one over here. But it's not the end of the world. I can feel mana coursing within you. 
nine mana plus evil scroll nope not very useful let's send you back to safety i don't know what that does but i'm assuming we will find out eventually where there's fucking things in the air. I can't see where the enemy is. Uh, obtain Walker for five seconds. That's actually very, very good because uh, as we've seen, Walker reduces any damage taken by 80%. Which is a considerable bo amount but if i think i'm gonna take damage i can just use walker um so that's actually not bad this thing is an offensive thing which is obviously pretty good but the walker will allow me to stay alive for longer even though in this game it is pretty difficult to determine accurately when you are going to take damage and when you aren't going to take damage um so that's a little bit difficult so i think i'm gonna stay with the uh offensive what did i do now did i delete oh, okay well i deleted the wrong thing but i mean not the end of the world the walker is also useful There's another thing that I can use my power on. Destroy friendly, unfriendly projectiles in range. Uh, and that's okay, but I mean, once again, something that is really quite difficult to determine when is the best uh, time to use it or not. sent her home but let's send her home again we get these purple coins i don't know what the use is of these purple coins yet but we do get some purple coins uh throws itself forward when you release fire button okay i don't know if that is good or not but let's have a look so if you shoot Okay, so it's like you have to hold in the uh, fire button and then when you release it, it will shoot. So, uh, it's not really... Oh, okay, there it goes. Okay, now it actually works, so that's pretty good. Not bad. It will actually work with my... Uh, my... Uh, click to fire uh, gun that I have currently. Okay, restore HP, obtain a random potion, purchase heal box. I don't really want any of these. I mean, maybe I will want it later on, but I don't really want it right now. So let's not use it right now. Let's just uh, go on to the next boss. I need to remember that if I'm going to take damage, I need to uh, press uh, right click. Yeah, we need to remember that.
How the hell are they, are they shooting at me? What the hell? How the how are they shooting at me? Like that was absolute bullshit. They were shooting at me while I was in the pause menu. Have you ever seen that kind of PS? Die, you bastard, you cheating bastard. I mean, sure, the game is still in early access, but holy crap, that is a pretty big problem. If the enemies are able to attack you uh, while you are in a uh, pause screen type thing, that will literally end your run. That's a game-breaking bug. So... I can choose more ammo drops or 20% XP gain. Uh, I think the uh, more damage and ammo drops uh, is a little bit better than the 20% XP gain. And then this thing, uh, Crystallizer, heal 0.5 on heal. That's okay, but to be honest, I don't use the... Uh, weapon i don't use these weapons uh to kill multiple enemies i just use it on boss fights to be honest so um yeah it's not really that useful unless you are fighting multiple enemies and since i don't fight multiple enemies with these guns i just use these guns on boss fights um that is really not going to be uh, useful at all to me. I have a shitload of gold right now. I really need to get to um, uh, a shop or something like that pretty soon. And I get another one of these. Okay, I don't see anything else. So we can teleport over here, there's not anything. Over here is the boss thing. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I can go in here, I don't know what will happen, but let's, let's have a look. I have some queer items you may want to take a gander at. You can teleport your soul to another dimension to do an errand for me. This procedure has been proven to be quite safe. Have a deal? Uh, I don't know, but okay, let's, let's do it, I guess. Okay, I have a limited amount of time, apparently. Ouch. Okay. Oh, how do you...
holy shit. Okay, so I don't know how to get those there at the top. So that's that apparently. Uh, so I have 62. Some enemies drop one gold, more XP, more life. Some enemies drop more gold. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna take that. Pick up, pick up. Okay, I wonder why my gold is sticking to 99. I really, really hope that it doesn't stay at 99 because that would be beyond idiotic. Okay, I think that's pretty much that. And uh, like I said, you each time that you go through a run, you learn new stuff. Obviously there I screwed up a little bit because I didn't know what actually was going on. But obviously, in future runs, I will know exactly what uh, to do there. Gain plus 5 damage, lose 3 max HP. No, thank you. Uh, we can randomize it. Let's have a look. Obtain big robot suit for 10 seconds. Absorbs 50% incoming damage. No, that does not seem that good, to be honest. My uh, current ability is better than that. My uh, right click ability. Even though, for some reason, the bloody right click ability makes your movement really really strange it makes the movement very very clunky okay so let's just have a look here i guess we can take one of these then i believe there was something over here yes let's take that one get some hp That's fine, and otherwise than that, I don't really see anything else. Okay, we can uh, pick this one up, increase our maximum eight, uh, maximum mana at least. We can unlock this for a new weapon, I guess we can do that. Epic Sidearm. On kill, instantly reload magazine. That seems pretty nice, but um, yeah, I don't know this. Uh, these bullets don't seem that nice, to be honest. I much prefer my current one. So we will scrap that one as well. Once again, my money is only going up to 99. That really pisses me off because what is happening to my excess mana? You know? Oh, my excess money. Like, is it just going 
waste or what the hell? Because that would be really infuriating. Look at that, my mana my money isn't going above um ninety-nine. That's really stupid. Hilariously stupid in fact. And then we get a new perk thing. Enemies deal 20% more damage, 0.4 mana regen, that doesn't sound too bad. Plus one weapon slots. Uh, mana regen. Well, it will basically give you 4 mana per 10 seconds. Is that correct? I think it's correct, yes. So 4 mana per 10 seconds, that's actu actually pretty slow. It's a really cool quite slow but i mean why not let's take it i don't have any mana regen currently so why not and my mana actually kind of is equal to my hp because i obviously have the regen thing where my hp can regen into my mana so uh, having more mana will actually be pretty good in tier 3 relic or clear 10 radiation i don't know what this radiation is i really don't know what it does don't know what effect it has healing will refresh your skills and jump um i mean i guess so it's not really useful but i mean i'm not gonna sell the tier 3 skill that would just be stupid. Okay, here's actually a place where we can use our money a little bit. Talk to this guy. Uh, touching enemies. Your projectiles are controllable. Every third time you get hit, cast a dead circle. Use your mana to slowly regain. Yeah, I already have that. Already have that. You know, do explosions. Bigger explosions. Mash, shoot, will increase. Fire. I mean, this one will be pretty good. Immunity to explosions. That sounds pretty good. I think that will be pretty nice. Because it will protect me against a lot of uh, damage. So yeah, it is in fact... Uh, like I uh, was uh, not hoping, uh, your uh, gold doesn't go above uh, 99. Literally, your gold stops at 99, and I can't see where the rest of your gold actually goes. Like, I don't know if it gets saved or what, but literally, your gold stops at 99, which is incredibly idiotic if it doesn't go anywhere there's a chance that it goes somewhere but i don't know i don't know if it actually goes somewhere because the game doesn't tell you like the game really my biggest problem with the game is the fact that it fucking never tells you where stuff goes it, it really keeps you in the dark like massively in the dark it's really irritating i don't know why the devs can't just fucking tell you where the stuff actually goes you know like uh a lot of the um uh the relics aren't explained a lot of the guns aren't explained uh the mods aren't explained the fact that when you sell a weapon your mods will get sold with that weapon and that isn't explained uh just a lot of stuff like the, the devs really do a terrible job at uh explaining the key uh things to the player it's a really quite um bad to be honest so if we look at new weapons here this one has 500 bullets 
and then that one has 150 bullets. This one's DPS is 257. This one is almost the double, but it obviously has less ammo. Um, 25 max mana. Well, equipped. that's not too bad. I mean, my current weapon does a lot of DPS. Like, my current weapon does uh, 600 DPS. It's obviously a stupid amount. But it doesn't have a lot of uh, ammo. It only has 150 ammo. So, my current weapon is probably better than this one. Because my current weapon does more damage and has the same amount of bullets. But this one does less damage, but it has more than three times the amount of uh, ammo. I think this one will definitely be quite a bit better. So let's equip that one. And uh, then we can just uh, store this one. I won't... Uh... Oh, okay, well, I uh, accidentally... Um... Uh, what do you call it? Accidentally sold it, but it's no problem. Um, let's go to the next one. It seems this one... Okay, well, it's not completely just uh, vendors, even though it seems like a lot of vendors are on this level. Here's another one, but I don't have enough money to buy it right now. There's a boss over there. Let's teleport back over here. Nothing there. Let's have a look over here. The movement that you have during this um, uh, right click, when you right click, your movement dramatically changes. It's really quite irritating. So I only took about 10 HP uh, damage there, not too much. Gain a random buff for 2 seconds after killing an enemy. That doesn't seem too bad. But uh, yeah guys, like I said, the uh, fact that so much of the game isn't explained to you. Like, I mean, I know that I the uh why am i invisible i know that i skipped the um uh the tutorial but these things are tooltips these these things should be in the tooltips you should be able to uh use uh, to to uh, see all of this information it should not be hidden you know stupid stuff like the uh, uh, mods what to do the mods actually do that kind of stuff should not be hidden you know um, it's really really poor that it is hidden uh, like I said the, the devs just do a terrible job of explaining what actually uh, all of your different abilities and guns and pickups and all of that different kind of stuff does. Another thing that really, really irritates me is the fact that loot disappears. I've said it previously, any game where loot disappears really pisses me off. Like, it doesn't matter how good the game is. Like, if loot disappears, that is just really, really irritating. It's really an un unnecessary... Uh, mechanic especially in a game like this usually loot will disappear in a game that has very high graphics and the developer is then trying to save um some 
uh, processing power in the game by having the loot disappear. But when in a game like this, that's hardly using any of your computer's processing power, uh, when there's loot that disappears, that's just really completely unnecessary. Really, it's it's like I really don't understand why the dev made loot disappear. Like right there, I was busy running to the um, healing to the the healing uh, packs, the med packs, and. Uh, they just disappeared and they weren't even on the ground for like five seconds it, it's really ridiculous that loot disappears that fucking quickly in a game uh, once again like these perks also you have no fucking idea what what they're actually doing you you don't know what um you're getting it's it's really uh just once again goes to prove my point that the dev really uh, needs to do a lot more to explain what the different things in the game does. It's just unacceptable for you to not be told all of this stuff. You're literally left in the dark and if you don't know what a lot of this stuff does, then that means you can't efficiently play the game because you're literally left in the dark uh, you might think that something is good or better than another thing when in actual fact it actually isn't simply because you don't know what the actual item does you think it does one thing but it actually does another thing or you don't really know what it does and then it actually is more than detrimental to you than another item uh, whenever you kill an enemy, gain blah blah blah, limited to 30. Well, that's really powerful. Plus 30% max HP is going to be really, really powerful. It's going to make me have 96 uh, max HP in the end instead of 66. So that's a really, really powerful uh, item. Um, so yeah, like the biggest problem that I have with this game by far is the fact that you are literally are kept in the dark um, with a lot of items. Uh, and a lot of um, tooltips, like the, the massive uh, amount of tooltips that this game is lacking is just unacceptable, to be honest. Holy shit, these things do a lot of damage. Like, really, I need to pull out all of the stops here. Because uh, I am really quite close to dying. Fortunately, I managed to uh, survive that uh, one when hit slow time for a moment. I mean, that seems good, but no. Let's change it. Create two tier two relics. That seems better. Uh, gain a tier three chest. That seems good. Create three tier one relics. Okay, I guess so. Uh, 400 XP enemies will occasionally drop, blah, blah, blah. That's good. I already had one of those, but I now remember that I actually lost one of them when I did that other uh, relic reroll thing. Fire immunity. Don't I ha already have fire immunity? Yes, I do. Now, what the hell will double fire immunity help me? Like, what the hell is the use of that? That's another really... Uh, stupid uh, oversight by the dev like full fire immunity and over here i also have full fire immunity so why would you be able to get double relics of this kind like full fire immunity there was another one that gives uh, explosion immunity another one that gives poison immunity why the hell would the dev allow you to get multiples of the same relic it just doesn't make sense it's really quite stupid to be honest uh, it's a big oversight by the dev like i said um so yeah guys i don't know it's a fun game uh if you like roguelites obviously um you uh will definitely like the game 
but like I said, there are quite a few problems with regards to um, you uh, being kept in the dark with multiple things in the game. Uh, the fact that uh, your money can't stack past 99 is hilariously idiotic. Like, <laughs> really. I do not understand why the dev chose to do it like that. It's really, really stupid. Uh, but yeah, otherwise the game is pretty fun. You know, I, I can recommend the game. Uh, the game costs, I think, uh, 15 dollars I think uh, yeah I think it was 15 dollars uh, the game has been in uh, early access already for more than two years so um, there's a lot of content already in the game um, but that's really good you know like the game is still in early access but it has already been in early access for more than two years so that obviously means that there's already a good amount of content and you can obviously see now i've been playing for two and a half hours and i still have not reached the end of my run so obviously there's quite a considerable amount of stuff that you can still uh get uh hitting enemies will cause you to fire additional plasma gun shots that is really good you can only have one installed. That sounds really, really good. Let's do that one. Okay, so here comes some enemies. Holy shit, these guys actually shoot. Did not expect them to shoot. And another thing that is cool about the game is you obviously constantly encounter new enemies you know i've now been playing for a while and i'm still uh, encountering new enemies the whole time okay, let's take out my minigun and we unlocked a chainer pretty good okay how do i get past this you sneak around here Okay, that's fine. So I unlocked another special item. I don't think it's a mod that I unlocked. I think it's uh, a thing that you get at the beginning. The chainer. The same as the other mortar thing that I unlocked at the beginning. It's literally like a chainer type. Uh, well, it's a it's a thing that you can select at the beginning of the game. Um, so yeah, okay. Here we go with another boss. Double trouble. I'm gonna need to use my... Uh, Watch my bullet with this one. Come on, don't die. Holy crap, these guys have a lot of HP. Like, how do they have so much HP? Okay, one is dead. There's this other one that's left. I really like this minigun. Deals a lot of damage. Excellent. Another boss down. And we get another boss key, another ancient coin. Uh, let's have a look. Three weapons, 40 gold. Uh, max range. Uh, my range is already pretty high, to be honest. Let's take this one. Get a bunch of weapons. Uh, how many? Well, this all of these are four star, so they're not even three star. They're four star. That's really nice. But uh, this one only has 50 ammo. 
uh, that's a little bit uh, too little in my opinion. Uh, this one has 300 bullets and this one has 100 bullets. Uh, let's sell this one I think. Yeah, we're not gonna use this one. I like get a key out of it. This one we are definitely not gonna use. 25, 24, H, uh, 24 ammo. It's way too little. We get a splitter mod from that. Uh, we will definitely equip that. So now I have a couple of splitters on this one. I think I have two splitters now. Splitter 3 and resplit. Okay. Uh, so now when we shoot, they come back and they jump all over the place. That's really nice. That makes that weapon very, very powerful. And then this one. Okay, so this one has 300 bullets and it does 500 and something damage and it is piercing um, on kill instantly reloads magazine uh, so this alien repulsor is actually really quite good it seems really good uh, but this one has projectiles that hit enemy bounces so that will make your your gun bullets bounce all over the place but i think this one will be pretty good oh no the the bullets are really short ranged so no that's not good at all we will not take that one the range on those bullets are simply atrocious uh so yeah guys i basically want to bring the video to uh ahead um i like the game i would say the game is worth 15 dollars i mean it, 15 dollars is not a lot of money and you will get a lot of uh, enjoyment out of the game that is certain um but there are some problems with the game no doubt the game can definitely be uh improved like really like i said um the fact that you are left in the dark is a massive problem the fact that a uh, loot disappears is a massive problem uh yeah the, the dev can definitely do a lot to still in improve the game but what is currently here is in my opinion definitely worth Fifteen dollars, so I can definitely uh, uh, recommend the game. The game is still in early access, like I said, but it has been in early access for two years already. So there is a lot of content already. There's multiple different euros, uh, multiple uh, different uh, oh, become invincible, multiple different power ups and stuff like that. Uh, let's have a look here on shoot on timer i definitely think on timer will be the best that will make me immune to damage uh or two seconds every three seconds so that's really really nice or two seconds every five seconds but basically you of those five seconds you will Im be immune for two seconds so that's really good that actually means that i will take a lot less damage overall i still don't know what these portals are um but yeah uh but yeah guys that's pretty much it uh i can recommend the game there are problems like i said but i mean which game does not have problems you know there's not a lot of twin stick shooters uh that are completely problem free and this one is certainly uh not one of those that is like amazing it's not amazing amazing but it is certainly worth uh, 15 dollars in my opinion and it's still in early access so i do hope that the developer will um definitely uh work on some of those problems so 
Uh, that's pretty much my review guys. I'm just going to do this final boss or well It's not a final boss, but I'm just gonna do this boss still I'm gonna stay quiet so that you guys can hear a bit of the attacks and dialogue Well not dialogue but music and, and the game sounds and all of that and then I'm going to end the video after that as always it would be uh, really appreciated if you guys could head over to my nexus.gg forward slash lfp gaming store uh, if you guys buy any Steam games, it would be really appreciated if you guys could buy Steam games through that link. Because uh, I get some of the money from that. It doesn't cost you anything extra at all. You still pay the same price as you would pay on Steam. But uh, I get a bit of the money and the developer actually gets 30% more of your money. And you still get a Steam key at the end of the day. So that is really good and it is really appreciated if you guys could use uh, that link when buying Steam games in the future. So yeah, let's jump into the last boss fight and I will end the video after that. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Okay, well it's not even a boss fight, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm still gonna end the video. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I will see you guys next time.